Hello once again everyone. This is Ed Taylor. We're here today with Miss Pam Shoemake and we are going to be doing an interview. She is a member of the Smithfield Chamber of Commerce and at this point I'm going to ask her one very simple question that I ask everybody else. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got to where you are. Well, I have a degree in dance <laughs> and for my younger adulthood I was a dancer and a choreographer, which was very creative, but I had a knee injury, so then I opened a flower shop. And I did that for about 10 years, um, and I had a little toddler, and I couldn't travel around like I was doing, so I was walking down the street, two blocks from my house, I peered in a window, there was an old restaurant, like someone had just walked out and closed the door, mm -hmm. I bought it three days later. I'd never worked in a restaurant, but I thought I know how to cook so I can do this. And um, that was in Trenton, Missouri. And I had the Wild Onion Cafe for 15 years. And then I had an opportunity to sell it, so I did. And um, became a chef at some other places in Kansas City before I married my husband and moved to Smithville and we purchased an already existing restaurant and that is how I got here. That's pretty amazing. That's quite the history right there. So now that we know how you got to where you are, what really motivates you to stay where you are and, and do the things you want to do? Um, everything that I have done always I mean even from the time I was a little girl I just was very creative person so dance was creative and flowers were same thing with the food it's very creative but with a restaurant especially the restaurant we have now it's um a lot of business and management and um, that too but it's a, a passion of mine so to keep on doing it it's just you know get up the next day and do it but I have tremendous support from my husband and our family all of our combined kids and their spouses have at one way or another you know one time or another helped us with waitressing tables fixing the heating you mm -hmm. know whatever it is so just more of that wow I'm pretty impressed with all that so if there's any one thing that you could tell the next generation based on your experiences and the success that you've had and that you're having, what would that be today? I have told them over and over, because in the restaurant business we employ lots of young people, mm -hmm. um, you can change your mind. Uh, you know, in my case it was just creativity and I just kept finding different things that I wanted to do that made the job enjoyable. Um, I like showing up day after day. It's not something I drag myself to and watch the clock. So I would say, you know, you can go to college, you can get a degree, you might change your mind and that's okay. You can just, you know, keep evolving as you're growing. Well, thank you all so much for joining us again for this video that's sponsored by the Broadcast and Journalism students here at Smithville High School. We appreciate it on behalf of the Smithfield Chamber of Commerce, Integrated Financial Solutions of Kansas City, and the Jameson Ever Group. We hope you come back again. Thank you.